You know, there's the Parsha of the week referring to what we read on Shabbos. And then there's another kind of Parsha of the week, which is what's going on. As a kid, I was a news freak, like many of you, I'm sure. And then I grew it. More or less, the news is usually the same thing anyway. Today he said it, the other day the other one said it, then someone else said it. Yesterday's sensational news is forgotten by tomorrow. But that's not what's going on now. What's happening? So first, uh, I don't know what you're reading, but within our society, we should live and be well. We got a lot of emuna, And it seems like every time something big is going on in the world, Mashiach is coming. Listen, he can come today, he can come tomorrow. We can't wait. But that's not the way you deal with what goes on in the world. Being a Jew, above all means you feel responsible. We, the Jewish nation, were put into this world to bring values to bring morality to humanity. Yes, we are responsible for the moral state of the world. First, how do we digest what's going on? What does it mean to us? Number one, first and foremost. I don't know, we were told that the world has changed. We were told that there was a certain respect for basic human values. There's some concept called equality. And yes, here and there, there are third world countries that are still living tyranny. The Iron Curtain is ancient history. We've been lied to. Or better yet, better yet, Western society has lied to itself. Nothing has changed. World War II didn't teach anybody anything. Nothing has changed. The world's more sophisticated. But you know something? The rhetoric today is no, no different than it was before.
And the world hasn't changed, it's on both sides. Number one, that you can have a world leader. Perhaps you can say he went crazy. Perhaps. You can say he's a madman, you can say that. You do know that Hitler came out of the loony bin. A world leader who can just decide he wants to swallow up other countries. That still exists. And we're not talking about some dictator in a third world country. We're talking about, okay, you can debate, but I guess what we call a superpower. But the other side of it, what is the reaction? Yeah. Condemnation. We'll try sanctions. Listen. It's not for any one of us to decide that we're in a position to really work through the details and play this chess game. But one thing's for sure, there's gotta be a way to stop it. What do you mean he's threatening with nuclear war? Okay, so what you're saying is that if you got nuclear weapons, you can do what you want and the world will be afraid of you. That's the lesson. That's the statement being made. What's that teaching humanity? What's that teaching Iran? The world's afraid to do anything meaningful. The world hasn't changed. The human tragedy. Yes, civilians are being targeted. Civilians are being targeted. They're not fleeing because they're paranoid. They're fleeing because neighborhoods are being bombed, they're being eradicated. The world hasn't changed. It hasn't learned a thing. And it's not going to change until Klal Yisrael becomes what it's supposed to and teaches the world a thing or two. Are we in a position to be a light unto the nations? What do we really stand for? So for sure, the outpouring of real support, the real thing to do is, to, I guess, to put an end to this madness so there won't be a refugee problem. But so long as there is, there's need for money, for food, for supplies. So of course, Jews have to do what they can. Can't expect the rest of the world to do anything.
For now, we've got a daubing for them. We've got a care. But doesn't this show us that we haven't t- taught the world a thing? What kind of light are we unto the nations? The Jewish nation has to change. In order for the Jewish nation to take responsibility for humanity, we have to take responsibility for the Jewish nation. We have to remind Jews that what we're about are values and not just making money. The Judaism isn't just about food. We have to take responsibility. We have to know that it didn't have to be this way. If the Jewish people were what we're supposed to be, this couldn't have happened. So we know what we gotta do. First of all, we got to get clear about what Torah is. You got to make sure that what you're learning is doing for you. It's not just turning you into an academic, but changing your whole self, integrating your Torah means you radiate love, right from wrong, morality, ethics. You gotta believe that. You gotta know that that's what we're about. It's not just that we We love to learn. We really love to learn. To learn, become greater, transform ourselves. Understand ourselves, understand life, understand the challenges of being a human being. Understanding that we're always involved in that battle between our instincts, our desires, and our real yearning for greatness, for being bigger. Got to know it yourself. And we we have to share it with everyone we can. We've got to tell Klal Yisrael. We have to tell Klal Yisrael that being a Jew is standing up for morality. On every level, beginning with the personal one. So that the nation can shine, so that humanity will look different. That's the only thing that'll do it. World War II didn't teach them. If it wasn't shocking enough, we can't expect anything to teach them other than Klal Yisrael, who was given that mission by Hashem when we were chosen in the first place. That's our responsibility. So do what you can 
for the Jews in the Ukraine. Feel for them, care about them. But feel for all of humanity that is unsafe until Claudius' role changes. The world is no safer than it was just before the outbreak of World War II. In fact, it's worse because of nuclear arms. And the only way to change that is to change Claudius' role. Be responsible. Start now.